Now that you have your first crossing spoke installed, the other eight are easy. Just skip one hub hole and then skip three rim holes, just like you did when you installed the first set of nine spokes. So the next crossing spoke is pulled through the hub in the next open hole. The hole between the two crossing spokes is taken up by a spoke with the head facing you. Now skip one, two, three and install into the fourth hole, but remember to lace under the last spoke before you install into the rim. As you install more spokes, there will be less thread sticking up past the top of the rim, so it may be easier to turn the spoke nipple from the side, rather than the top. The two new spokes now have a gap of three holes between them in the rim and one hole in the hub, just like the initial set of nine spokes you installed at the beginning. Keep installing spokes using this same pattern, with a gap of one hole at the hub and a gap of three holes on the rim, lacing underneath the last spoke before installing into the rim. Try to install all of the spoke nipples using the same number of turns so that the wheel will be somewhat true once they are all hand tightened later. When you are weaving the crossing spoke under the other spoke, you will find it needs to be bent somewhat in order to make it fit. This is fine, but try to avoid scratching the surface of your rim with the top of the spoke as it is forced around the crossing spoke. If you place your finger over the top of the spoke threads as you lace them, then you can avoid scratching your rim. Install the rest of the crossing spokes until you have 18 spokes installed in the hub. This will complete the first side of your wheel. You will know if you made a mistake when you install the last crossing spoke. If there is more than one empty hole between any two spokes, then you need to go back and find your mistake. Now you only have to duplicate what you just did onto the other side of the hub in order to complete your wheel.